All right, thank you and welcome, my wonderful people. Thank you for joining us. P2B have said it on oil subsidy. He has revealed the truth. And in fact, it was just a few days that he made a comment about oil subsidy, of which we are still thinking and pondering over what he said. The truth has been that... Uh, Obi reveals the truth about oil subsidy. Well, some people might be very angry about this, but let's just have patience and sit and digest what he has said. As uh, Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of a Labour Party, has described the regime of fuel subsidy as an organized crime. According to him, he said if elected as Nigerian president come 2023 presidential elections, that he would look into it and uh, stop it. According to to him, he further said, as uh, Peter Obi lambasted what he called uh, the dollarization of Nigeria economy, promising to put an end to it. In a message that will probably annoy some influential people, presidential candidate of Labour Party in 2023 general elections, Peter Obi, has lambasted the regime of fuel subsidy, saying, according to him, he was decisively and consequently describing it as organized crime, promising to tackle it decisively if elected as president of Nigeria come 2023. Obi, meanwhile, made this known in Lagos at a private sector economic forum for 2023 presidential election organized by Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, known as LCCI. According to him, Going further, he said, as the presidential candidate also promised to immediately stop the dollarization of the Nigerian domestic economy on, some, on, on consumption or resumption of office, he said. He said this one as I read him bit from his statement. He said, I have said it before. 50% of the subsidy is a corruption. That will be dealt with decisively. Subsidy, he said, will be removed where absolutely necessary. Accordingly and secondly, we will, he said, start aggressively and immediately anywhere we can. Local refinery, especially modular refinery driven by private sector, not the government, we are going to support and ensure that the refineries are put in as quickly as possible. Well, that captured my interest. The truth has been, according to what he said, he said, I assure you, subsidy will not be there. Subsidy, he said, is one of the things that, that is driving inflation because you have huge sum of uh, money being thrown into the system to deal with the deficit budgeted to pay for the subsidy. Meanwhile, I have said before, we have to stop the dollarization of our economy, especially domestic economy, under my watch. Peter before that said that if you must operate, you must charge in Naira, except you are operating in the international space. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, and uh, Atiku is the only presidential candidate who has the chieftaincy title in Lagos. For oh, my wonderful people, Dino Milaye bikes at uh, campaign. This was coming from Dino Milaye as he brags at campaign, saying uh, campaigns for the 2023 general election have uh, commenced and the uh, Politicians have started passing digits at each other and wooing the people to be on their side. Meanwhile, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Alahaji Atiku Abubakar, recently visited Lagos State and Dino Milaye, in line with him, was one of the people who spoke to the electorate. The economic, uh, the comic politicians uh, told the electorate things uh, that made Atiku a true breed negotiations as he claimed that he is the only presidential candidate that has a chieftaincy title in the city of Lagos. According to Dino Minaya, he said, we want to introduce to you a true breed Lagos boy. He lived in Lagos, worked in Lagos, has houses in Lagos. He is the 
Maya Dore of Lagos, hmm, my wonderful people. Out of all the candidates, he is the only one that has a chieftaincy title in Lagos. Okay, he now introduced Atiku Abubakar. But the truth has been, who title help? But the truth has been, we should continue to say the truth. Well, that has been onto this one. But what got my attention is Peter B on this matter of subsidy. Saying that this time around, we will encourage locally made refineries and will the government in his government during his tenure will support uh, individuals and group of people who are ready to partnership with the business with the government to raise and encourage uh, refineries well that has been taking my wonderful people what more are we going to say well let me have your take on this matter i assure you subsidy will not be there subsidy is one of the things that is driving inflation well, because you have huge sum of money being thrown into the system to deal with this fiscal budgeting. That is coming shortly from the desk of uh, Peter O.B. It might be so annoying, but it is true. And uh, we will try to consider and think vividly what uh, Peter O.B. have said. It has something to be fished out there. I say truth in, into it. And some people might be annoyed. The truth has been sold, according to him. The, uh, the presidential candidates of the uh, Labour Party have said this. Meanwhile, I would like to have your take on this matter. The matter. All right, on this note, the other hand, the federal government has banned or has planned to ban Pomo, says it has no nutrition to Nigerians. All right, this one is another one. Pomo consumption, as they say, has no nutritional value. And as a result, it has been banned according to the federal government of Nigeria. Especially the government uh, said the habit of consumption or consuming animal skin need to be stopped in Nigeria. That has been some person's favorite, but it is to this note, to this news that is no more going to be sellable in Nigeria. This, according to the Nigerian Institute of uh, Leather and the Science Technology, will help revive the leather industries to of the uh, country. The federal government says it is uh, proposing legislation to ban the consumption of animal skin legally or locally known as pomo in the country to revive uh, tanaris. Muhammadu and uh, Mohamed Ka Kayabu, Director General of Nigeria Institute of uh, Leather and the Science Technology, Zaria, said this in Abuja on Sunday. My wonderful people, this according to the Nigerian Institute of Leather and the Science, that this time around, they are going to ban or they are moving a motion to ban Kwama consumption. Kayobu said that the legislature, that the that the Litigation, okay, was uh, necessary to reveal the com the Komoto's uh, leather industry in the country. My wonderful people, he further said that the habit of uh, eating animal skin, which has no nutritional value, should be stopped to save the industry and boost the nation's economy. The director general added, saying that the institute in collaboration with uh, stakeholders in the industry would approve the national assembly and the state government to bring out uh, legis legislation banning pro of uh, common consumption to the best of my knowledge nigerians are the only people in the world that uh, overvalue skin as food after all Bomo has no nutritional value the, and the truth will continue to be said at uh, one point there was a motion before the two chambers of the National Assembly it was de debated that uh, but I don't know how the matter was uh, thrown away according to him that the consumption of animal skin is partly responsible for the present uh, Komato state of uh, Tanoris in Nigeria he also said that the current national leather policy had addressed uh, some fundamental problems of the sector, saying if we get our tanneries, our bootswear and leather production working well in Nigeria, people will definitely or hardly get Pomo to buy and eat. Well, my people, let me hear your take on this matter. When implemented fully, it will turn around most of uh, the 
locomotives, uh, tonneries, and Tinga greater output in production. That has been on to this from my wonderful people. Let me have your take from the comment section. Remember to tap on the subscription button so you can get more of the coming right from this channel. Thanks and God bless.